For Cremo Media's Policy, I'm Sash Nimudi. Joining me today is African Christian Democratic Party leader, Kenneth Mishbe, here to unpack the party's 2024 manifesto ahead of the crucial May elections. The ACDP released its manifesto under the slogan SOS, Service, Order mm-hmm. and Safety. Uh, mm-hmm. And the manifesto highlights support for an open market. So can you tell us about this and how it fits into the party's plan to create jobs and grow the economy at a faster rate? Well, maybe before I start with creating jobs, I need to start with what I think has to be a basic challenge that must be addressed before we can start talking about jobs. The issue of security for us is very, very important and is the at the top of what should happen before we can talk about job creation. Because investors need to be assured of their personal safety. Investors have to be assured of the environment that is conducive for job creation, which has to include not only personal safety, but safety of their assets. If I'm not sure that my asset may be bent down because South Africa is notorious for touching things, buildings, whenever they are not happy about something, which makes people hesitant to do the good that they want to do. And also, they would need to be assured that uh, the policy of government is stable uh, and is assuring that if I invest 20 million rands and to 20 years of my life into a area to invest, the policy is not going to change. My policy is going to protect me and my investment. Because if I today um, invest and tomorrow I'm told you cannot have Sethny as the manager because of her looks, we need somebody else. Now that obviously interferes with proper planning for any business. So the issue of personal security is first. Secondly, uh, security of one's family and security of one's assets. And then from there, policy certainty. Am I not going to be told after four years of starting a business or starting or investing in this place that I'm told that they are not happy with this, I'm not happy with the manager, We want the business to do their work, their businesses without government interference. So once they know that there will be no government interference, because before allowing this government or this person, this business to to invest, then we shall have made all the right ticks and made agreements. And once that agreement is made and sealed, then we want to run with the business without government interference. So this is what this ACDP is saying. When the climate is conducive for investments and job creation and investments come, people see that something is happening, we will be uh, able to deal with the problems of joblessness because people will get jobs when businesses start investing. So what are some of the party's concrete plans and policies to make this happen? Well, when you are a government or part of government, you are responsible for introducing uh, policy. So we are saying that the safety of investors, of ordinary South Africans, must be guaranteed. We have to deal ruthlessly with with crime in the country. Crime in South Africa is getting out of hand because police are not doing their job. Police are underfunded. Police are few in number. They cannot cover all areas. They cannot be every, everybody. ACDP will double the number of police we have. The ratio of police to citizens have to be narrow. It's too wide right now. That is why when police are given uh, cases to investigate, they always put what they think is not at the bottom of the pile. And it takes years before they come to the bottom of the pipe. So number one, we are saying, make sure that uh, we have detectives that are not overloaded. Detectives that are given cases to investigate that they can, humanly speaking, be able to deal with. But the detectives themselves have to be properly trained and properly equipped 
So if criminology is attacked, is not tolerated, and people in the country knows, criminals knows, if I'm involved in criminality, whether I'm a policeman, I'm a professional, I'm a politician, the arm of the law is going to be very hard on me. In South Africa, unfortunately, the arm of the law is weak. And they simply want to strengthen the arm of the law so that we can bite and so that criminals can start fearing the law. Criminals don't fear. They challenge. That's why they invade even police stations. Criminals in South Africa rob police stations. And when criminals rob a police station, they are saying, government, we don't fear you. We are challenging. Hit back. Let's see what you can do. And ACDP is saying, we want to deal with these guys and show them that crime does not pay. We will be hard on them. And we will also reintroduce death penalty. We are not ashamed to say that. Crime is now out of hand. We will introduce anything that will help to reduce crime. We will ensure that criminals do not have the same rights as law abiding citizens, as their victims. You become a criminal, you are found, and evidence is there. You committed the crime. You definitely will suffer consequences. And you cannot talk about my rights. You don't, nobody has the right to do wrong. Nobody has the right to hit or to target or challenge or kill, murder, rape somebody else. Nobody has that right. So anybody who does that must lose some rights because what we want to do is to ensure that criminals fear the arm of the law. For as long as criminals don't fear, you will never eradicate crime in the country. And if you don't do it, joblessness will be with us forever. And the ACDP says, no, joblessness must not be with us forever. And let's give criminals the hiding they deserve so that investors can feel safe that they will be safe and their assets will be safe. Now, the party also wants to see the recovery of billions of rands stolen through state capture and corruption. How will you ensure that this is achieved? The first important thing, we are going to honour and pay incentives to whistleblowers. Number two, we will protect whistleblowers. Anybody, any policeman who exposes a whistleblower, actually maybe before that, will have rules and regulations and even laws that will govern how to deal with corruption. That will include punishment for those who are involved in corruption. Okay? People know, if I'm involved in corruption, this is what's going to happen to me. But secondly, there are policemen, corrupt police, that sell dockets and that expose whistleblowers. A person we know these days go to a police station to complain. After that person goes, then that policeman calls the person, so and so was here, Sashni was here to complain about you. So she was here to say, uh, you have done one, two, three. And then the whistleblower is targeted now or even killed. So we will ensure that the whistleblowers are protected. And those who violate this right to be protected as a whistleblower will need to have a sentence that is uh, crafted for those who expose whistleblowers that you expose whistleblower, there will be a sentence for you. People must know that when we say government must, or the communities must work with government, they must know that government is going to protect them if they work with them. Today, people see their neighbors committing crimes, but they are scared to speak because they know they are going to be targeted. They are going to be exposed by the corrupt policemen. We are definitely going to bring that to an end. We will not have corrupt policemen. We will ensure that you expose whistleblowers, then you are in trouble. Now, when South Africans know, I am not going to be exposed, but I'm going to be protected. And I'm going to be incentivized. I'm going to be given 
a thank you. And all these things will not be happening behind people's back. There will be a form of evidence and a form of ensuring that the department knows, the department knows this money is being given to so and so who is a whistleblower and the name, that amount will be attached to a, a number. All right? When everybody, the senior of the department who trusted knows that number belongs to Reverend Mishwe, if they see this amount has gone to Rev because of exposing this corruption, a few people will know who belongs or who has that number. Once the people are confident that I will not be exposed, I promise you they will expose corruption and they will expose the corrupt. They will expose those who are killing innocent people. They don't do it because they're scared of being exposed. ACDP says we will protect them. And we'll also say, give them a thank you. That is not a hush hush money, but that is legal. A thank you that is no. Money has to be used to stop corruption in the country because the, the, the benefit thereof ultimately is going to be poverty reduction because of job creation. Now, the ACDP also talks of repealing government's proposed national health insurance legislation and launch a national dialogue on access to universal health care. Can you talk to us more on this aspect? You have medical doctors. You have medical companies that have threatened to take government to court. They say, currently, with what they have now, they are unable to service the public, as we are right now. Unable to service the public, they don't have enough staff, not enough doctors, not enough nurses, not enough health workers. Now, if you say, okay, and then we also look at that uh, the people who are paying for this insurance, how many are they compared to people who are taking from the fund? People who pay tax in South Africa are very, very low. The number is very, very low. And until that number is increased, until there is more money to do what needs to be done, it is just political electioneering to say everybody will have free access. We do not agree as the ACDP to bring down the standard that we have maybe with private healthcare in order to say everybody has uh, access to a below standard medical treatment. We do not agree with that. We want South Africa to have some of the best medical treatment. But for that to happen, a number of things have to happen. Borders must be closed. Our neighboring countries know you are pregnant. You are going to have a baby. Get into South Africa, even illegally. So that when you have to deliver, you go to a hospital that will give you free care. South African borders are porous. We have millions of illegal immigrants. Government does not know how many illegal immigrants we have in the country. They commit crimes. They hide in South Africa. They don't have fingerprints. They cannot be arrested. Victims of crimes, including myself, I was robbed in December. I lost my cell phone, my iPhone. I lost my iPad. I lost my laptop. Laptop. The police came, took fingerprints. They said they cannot, they cannot be matched because it is illegal immigrants who committed the crime. How is government going to ensure that people will not come from as high as Somali to come to free South African hospitals because of NHI, everyone is going to be given free access. It is impossible. It is unworkable. So the doctors are saying we, don't, we currently don't have 
enough staff, enough health workers. There are qualified doctors who are not employed. We saw a few weeks ago, about 200 of them protesting, saying we need jobs. Government says, we don't have money to pay you. Where would they get money to make NHI workable? Normally, before a law is passed in Parliament, they should work out how much it will cost to implement that law practically. They are not willing to talk about how much they have to make NHI implementable. And yet they say they are going to do it. It's a misleading of innocent people, of the vulnerable, of the uninformed. But those who are informed, they know government does not have the capacity to make NHI work. ACDP wishes everybody to get the good health insurance. But we are realistic. We are realistic. Let's promise people things we know we can do. Things we know we can deliver. When we know we cannot deliver, we refuse to make empty promises because that's lying and deceiving the public. ACDP does not want to do that. Now, the party also wants to reestablish full diplomatic relations with Israel and move the South African embassy to Jerusalem. Given the current situation with Palestine, why does the party feel so strongly about this? The bottom line for us as the ACDP is that everybody, number one, has the right to be. Number two, every country has the right to exist. When you have people who in their manifestos and their documents saying we do not want Israel to exist, who are saying, whenever we get an opportunity, we are going to ensure they cease to exist. I can make use as an example. Hamas has promised to remove Israel, Israel from the face of the earth. Iran has also supported remove Israel from the face of the earth. And we are saying as the ACDP, every human being is created by God. No government or on an organization has the right to say this person or this country because of their policies we don't agree with, because of the behavior we don't agree, agree with, they should not be allowed to exist. The ACDP is strong on the principle of everybody having the right to exist. Where there are problems, and there are problems we know. South Africa has problems, serious problems much more serious than other countries that they are condemned. The, the, the percentage of rape in South Africa compared to other countries, murder in South Africa compared to other countries, they make themselves able, clean country that has everything under control. Nonsense. Government does not have everything under control. We did not know even when 1994 started, that we have, there is something called water shedding. After 30 years, you still have people who share water with animals. Animals, they stand in the river, pollute the river, the river, and people, South Africans, be expected to use that water from that river, dirty water for drinking, while the, the same countries who want to remove from the face of the earth have more water than they need in a desert. We are saying we should not allow hatred to blind us. ACDP says don't allow hatred to blind you. If there are problems, solve those problems, number one, uh, diplomatically, but allow everybody to exist. This is the ACDP's strongest point. Some people are trying to lie and say, but Hamas has changed its charter. I challenge a person who was called an expert in Middle East affairs. I said, I have my iPad with me right now. Show me, tell me where is that amendment? And I said to the host of the program, Find that, and when you find where that uh, 
um, amendment is because I check for myself because I don't want to believe stories I hear from other people. That after my search and I ask other people to help me search, they say they can't find anything anymore. I said, please find that, call me, I will drop what I'm doing to be to meet with this person, to charge this person, to challenge this person. Okay, in a debate, when I have it in black and white, and when that person and the still and the station also has it in black and white. So the right to exist is fundamental. About Israel, we are saying, in spite of the many mistakes they made, as South Africa is making mistakes, if a country had to be removed from the face of the earth because of their mistakes, South Africa should be one of them. South Africa has oppressive laws. They care more about people outside the continent, uh, so out of the country, from the continent, than their own people. When their own people cry for assistance, it doesn't come. They are told there's no money. And yet there's money to do to give service to people who have come from outside. We are saying the illegal. And when I talk about people from outside, people must hear me well. I am not anti-people from outside. We agree with all those who have come into the country legally. We know that some universities, the majority of lecturers are Zimbabweans. So we cannot say people who are in the country legally should be told to go. No, we are not saying that as ACDP. We are talking about illegal immigrants. How many countries in the world are allowing illegal immigrants to take resources from, from nationals and from citizens? How many countries will do that? South Africa is doing something that other countries will not be, uh, would not allow to do. So the right to exist is the number one fundamental principle that the ACDP has about Israel. They must exist just as South Africans want to exist. If a person from one tribe makes a mistake, you cannot want to wipe up the whole tribe. You cannot paint the whole tribe with the same brush. You cannot paint the whole country, the whole nation with the same brush. Deal with those who are law breakers and allow law-abiding citizens to live their lives peacefully. Now, a little closer to home, the ACDP is part of the multi-party charter, which could create a coalition government if ANC support falls below 50% in this election. What role is the ACDP expecting to play in such a coalition government, and how would you promote policy positions? Firstly, we will not form a coalition with people who have shown their true colors. ACDP is on record for saying corruption within the ANC, within cabinet ministers, among cabinet ministers, is known. Okay? The Zondo Commission exposed people that were corrupt, that were involved in corruption. ANC does not want to deal with them. They still want them there. Some are still on the list, 2024 election list. The people that were fingered as corrupt are there. So they are not serious about eradicating corruption. So when it comes to the ANC, the ACDP has said they have shown their true colors. And therefore, ACDP will not form a coalition with them. Secondly, the EFF have shown a disrespect not only to authority, not only to, because many of them are young, young in the middle age group, shown lack of respect to elders. ACDP still believes strongly in respect. It's respect on four levels. Number one, respect for God. Number two, respect for self. We need leaders and politicians in South Africa who will respect themselves, who know the difference between right and wrong, who will be a good example to young people. But thirdly, respect for your neighbor. You steal from a person you don't respect. You rape a person you don't respect. 
You destroy property of the person you don't respect. You don't care. You don't care. You deny service delivery to people you don't respect. As long as you are eating, your friends are eating, your family is eating, you are happy. Others can go to bed hungry. You don't care. You don't respect their rights. ACDP says everybody must be respected. And fourthly, you respect property. When you talk about respecting property and you have students who are upset, maybe with a lecturer, rather than torch the class of lecturers or torch a classroom, ACDP says no. That should not be allowed. There should be punishment for destroying other people's property. Okay? So if we have respect in the country, many of the wrong things that are happening would not be happening. But the EFF shows no respect for anybody, no respect even for many of their members. That is why when you look at turnover, look at turnover of Members of parliament, the EFF has the highest tenor. Where do they go? And some of them obviously can want to start parties because they are not happy. They say they are not treated with respect. So I am saying, Sashni, we can end corruption in South Africa. We can become a winning nation as South Africa. We can work together as South Africa. But there needs to be respect, there needs to be accountability, and there needs to be a heavy penalties for those who commit crimes. So we believe and we are looking forward to contributing to us making South Africa a great country. We will help those who have not shown their true colors yet, because if people have shown their true colors, that they are thieves. They are going to steal and loot what belongs to the people, what belongs to government. They cannot be trusted. All right? So, uh, multi-party charter, we will tell them what we believe in. And actually, one of the most important, the first rule, the multi-party charter, the first acknowledgement is that we have different political philosophies, values, and uh, we are not going to force anybody to change their values or policies. Everybody who's part of the multi-party charter know that they are not going to lose their identity. We will remain ACDP. That was ACDP in 1994. Our policies do not change. But working together to bring services, we are willing to work together with those we know will not steal from the mouths of the poor. And lastly, with so many parties, new and old, contesting the elections this year, why should South African voters ultimately put their trust in your party? When South African voters look back from 1994, they should ask themselves questions. Have these people been reliable and trustworthy? Have these people been involved in corruption? And the answer that will be no, they have not been involved in corruption. They also, even though the, the amounts of money we are dealing with will not be the same as those in government. A person that steals from 1,000 rents, you are given 10,000 rents to work with, you steal from 10,000 rents. Even when you are given 10 million and 10 billion, you'll continue stealing. So people, because we have not been in government and we, are not, we have not had this, these millions to deal with, the fact is that the one who steals the millions is the one who also steals the tens. So people must look at the ACDP's track record when it comes to trustworthy. Can they be trusted? Are they respectful to different people? People who disagree with them, that's the first thing. Are they able? And number two, service delivery. What is their policy on service delivery? How do they want? How are they planning? to give services to people? Are they going to prioritize their friends, their members, their neighbors, or they are going to say, first come, first say. Where we see a need, we should help, we should assist regardless of the background of the people in need. And thirdly, what, are, what is ACDP saying about order? 
ACDP is very strong, as I've been saying, on maintaining order, on being ruthless when it comes to criminals. We do not want criminals to enjoy an easy life. We want criminals to be punished. We come to safety. How safe will we be if we have an ACDP government? ACDP believes in using the rod, the stick, to punish those who do wrong. So those, even though they might not agree with some of our policies, who want to live in security and in safety, must vote for the ACDP. Because that is one of our strong areas we believe we must start with and show that South Africans live in safety. A good life for all will not be possible when people are not living in safety and the ACDP promises the safety that the current government is failing to implement and to bring and to assure citizens they will find in the ACDP. That was ACDP leader Kenneth Mishwe unpacking the party's 2024 manifesto ahead of the crucial May elections.